In the waters of the Basque Country, you can find more than 20 different species of marine mammal. Some live here all year round, while others pass through on their migration routes. Some of them also come to shore. Sometimes they come and go freely. However, other times they may find themselves beached. This is called stranding. AMBAR, Society for the Study and Conservation of Marine Fauna, has been gathering data on beach cetaceans in Guipuzcoa and Biscay since 1996 and has been funded by the Basque government since 2017. This network of volunteers, who live along the Basque coast, give of their time and apply their knowledge to the study of these animals while also providing information to the public. Volunteers receive periodic training to learn how to best handle each case of stranding. Cualquier persona que encuentre un animal varado, un delfín, ballena, tiburón, tortuga, puede activar la red de varamientos simplemente llamando al 112, que es el teléfono del servicio de emergencias. Este departamento se pone en contacto con la red de varamientos de Ámbar a través del teléfono específico para ello, que en estos momentos atiendo yo, y es entonces cuando entramos en contacto todos los socios, todos los voluntarios y voluntarias, y en función de la ubicación y las características del varamiento, van unos, van otras, y, y es cuando el protocolo se pone en marcha. Este protocolo se activa tanto si los animales están vivos como si han llegado al, a la costa ya muertos. Sometimes the decisions which need to be made in the case of a stranding are complex, but Ambar has the experience of having dealt with hundreds of strandings over the course of more than 20 years, and that is why it has become the leader in the Basque Country in matters concerning marine mammals. When an animal is alive, we always try to minimize its suffering y valorar si la reintroducción al mar es viable, pero cada caso es diferente. Eh, cada varamiento se tiene que analizar de forma individual. Among the functions AMBAR's volunteers perform in the case of a stranding are giving advice to different parties on safety, health and how to manage the removal of remains, providing information at the scene and sometimes also through the media, gathering data such as species, sex, or the nutritional state of the animal, providing photographs to archives, and collecting biological samples. When the animal is dead, we try to do a dissection, a necropsy of that body, to recopile all the organs and tissues that we can, and some biological samples that, once analyzed, aport a lot of information, a lot of data, and sometimes we can even know the cause of death. data is given to the SINE, the Basque Country Information System for Nature, a tool allowing different bodies to consult and analyze the information. This is very important for the adequate protection of marine species. The samples are taken to the PIE Biobank, which is the research center for experimental marine biology and biotechnology. There, the samples are stabilized for optimum preservation and then they are archived to facilitate later scientific studies. Gertatzen da kutsatzaile batzuk eh detektatzen direla adibidez uretan edo animalietan eta egoera nabarmen baten, baina ez dakigu noiz hasi zen eh kutsatzaile hori agertzen. Orduan egiten dira estudio retrospektiboa. Adibidez, agu badakigu orain mikroplastikoa daudela, baina noiz hasi ziren ikusten orduan, ba peluzez eh la niña corte está para lima de tu sus su que guinde esa que es una la guisa de tal yo está verdad ni cursi ya microplástico ya ya agarrarse sin nada es o retar algo va la guiño ya que corte ve ardida va modu ego que va ten cetaceans are especially interesting for this type of research since they are at the top of the marine food chain Because they feed on other smaller sea creatures and live for many years, what happens to other animals in the chain, in turn, affects them. For this reason, they are classified as bioindicators. They can also be called 
umbrella species because their protection directly impacts many other species that share their habitat. So by studying these marine mammals, AMBAR's stranding network helps us to better understand our seas. And a better appreciation of this complex system is the first necessary measure for the conservation of marine life.